Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Andres Christensen, as it has been reported that the Barcelona defender will not return in time to face Valencia in our next La Liga game that will be in the weekend away from home. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then to conclude this episode, we are going to be talking about Ronald Araujo, who is still out injured and is expected to be out for a long time. It has been reported that the Uruguayan chief expects Ronald Araujo to make the World Cup. Wow, that will be a miracle. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Speaking ahead of the Bayern Munich clash during his pre-game press conference, Xavi provided a key update on Andres Christensen's injury, suggesting that the player is not yet fit, but is expected to be back in time to take on Valencia on the weekend. He said he's not fit yet. We'll try to get him ready for next week. He's fine and doing a great job. We will try to have him fit by the weekend, Xavi said. However, according to an update recently from Cadena SER, Christensen will not be fit in time to face Valencia this weekend. The Dane has largely been Barcelona's fourth choice centre back behind Jules Kounde, Ronald Araujo, and Eric Garcia. However, whenever given the chance, he has been largely solid. He suffered an injury against Inter Milan on March 3 of the 2022 23 season Champions League and was ruled out. For a few weeks. As it stands, however, Barcelona do have the services of Jules Koundé and Eric Garcia as centre backs, with Xavi also opting to use Marcos Alonso in that position from time to time. So it's unfortunate that Christensen, according to this report, won't still be available for the game against Valencia in the weekend. And of course, he was one of those defenders who suffered injuries when Barca was suffering a lot with injury crisis. Even though we have Kunde back, Arago will still be there. Arago will come maybe in January after the World Cup. Christensen, honestly speaking, was doing well before his injury. No complaints. He came as a free agent from Chelsea and I think he did a great job. And of course, it's going to be interesting to see him back as soon as possible. But Valencia... People, it was widely thought that he would be there. Even the manager Javi in his press conference two days ago did said the same that Christensen would likely um, face Valencia, but that won't be the case. So we just have to use the ones that we have. Kunde has been solid so far in centre back. Um, definitely for now, Javi for some games have been using Kunde and Alonso in centre back, or sometimes Eric Garcia and Kunde. But most of the time, Kunde have been playing his natural centre back position. While in right back, we have um, Hector Bellerin, who is now playing most of the game since returning from injury. As we see, players like um, Sergio Roberto is also currently injured and will be back only after the World Cup. So, I think with the defence line, it's not that bad for us when it comes to competing for other trophies. But Christensen, if you will not be back against Valencia, then likely we expect Christensen to be coming after the Valencia game, maybe the next game in La Liga or against um, Victoria Pleasant in the Champions League. So we wish he recovers fast and I think he has been doing well this season, many more than what many people expected because he, I mean, he, was, he was starting most games prior to his injury and he did fairly well. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Uruguay seemed confident that Ronald Araujo will be fit for the World Cup in Qatar. The Barcelona defender is currently recovering from surgery after a muscle problem suffered on international duty at the end of September. The diagnosis given by many was that it would take him around eight weeks to recover, ruling him out of the first week in the World Cup. However, it appears Araujo and Uruguay are doing all they can to ensure that time is reduced. We have the expectations that Ronald Araujo will be at the World Cup, said Jos Giordano, director of Uruguayan national teams on the football, say Habla Asi, as carried out by Muno Deportivo. The player himself posted on social media on Wednesday that he was maintaining the fates 
Uruguay's first game is on the 24th of November and he's expected to be discarded from that match. But he could make the second group tie on the 28th. Barcelona will merely be hoping he returns from Qatar full fit, having suffered a series of injuries since breaking into the first team. It is great to see that Arago still have the faith and belief that he could possibly be there at the World Cup. The director of the Uruguayan national team, of course, talking recently in the interview, saying that they are hoping and they believe that Arago will be back. And I think if that happens, it's going to be a miracle because when he, he picked up that injury and opted to go for surgery, you know, it was widely expected that Arago will only play football in 2023. And now, talking about... Still the possibility for Arago to play World Cup in Qatar is something to be impressed about as a Barca fan because we know who Arago is, we know what Arago can do. We can just, be, like, honestly speaking, we have missed Arago a lot. We have missed him. You know, there are some certain games that we couldn't have lost. Arago is a leader. Arago is so good. Like, he's just a complete defender, the best defender by Mice that we have. Honestly speaking, Arago and Kunde. Those are the players that Xavi should always use our first choice because those guys are rock solid. And I think Arago coming back more than how people expected will be something great, especially for Barcelona. You know, I think we have missed Arago a lot. Looking at the game like the one, the 3 3 draw with Inter Milan that we lost when Piquet was the one in the back, those things shouldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. So those injuries really hurt Barca a lot. Arago's injury was the most affected one in the team. Because we know that Arago is always one of the best players that we have. So, it, it, it was a shame to see Arago, you know, not fit. And just went, went for the first international break this season. Picked up an injury in just the first minute of the game when Uruguay was playing. So, hopefully, Arago will be back in the World Cup. As this report is saying that he might not start the first match. Because that will be still too early. Maybe the second or third match day of the World Cup when Uruguay plays, then Arago will be available. You know, he's, he's important everywhere. We can see how the Uruguayan national team, they are praying, they, were, they are not happy at all and they wish a quick recovery. They want Arago to be fit as soon as possible for the World Cup in Qatar. And the player, according to this report, posted on social media that he still has the faith, the belief that there's still that possibility that he could make it for that World Cup. So hopefully, fingers crossed. So guys, with that, we have come to one end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.